Hello dear students. In this video, we will talk of factor theorem. The name of the topic is factor theorem. Suppose P of X is a polynomial such that degree is greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number then first thing x minus a is a factor of p of x if p of a is equal to 0 is it right see whatever things till now we have seen i am putting it in theorem form and we can say in reverse case p of a is equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of p of x okay so in the previous video only we have seen this now what they have asked you you have to examine whether x plus 3 is a factor of x cube plus 6 x square plus 11 x plus 6 that means if you get a remainder is equal to 0 at x is equal to at x is equal to a or at x is equal to minus 3 you can say it is a factor of given polynomial okay let us see okay i will explain you here what is p of x what is the given polynomial p of x is x cube plus 6x square plus 11x plus 6. Now what is divisor? What is divisor in this case? Divisor is equal to x plus 3. Let us find out 0. 0 of divisor. How you will find out 0 of divisor? You will equate x plus 3 with 0. So x is equal to minus 3. This is what you are 0 of the polynomial. Now this is important. Now, if value of given polynomial at x is equal to minus 3, what will be this value? This is nothing but a remainder r. This is nothing but a remainder r. If this is equal to 0, then x plus 3 will be a factor of factor of P of x. This is most important. Is it clear? Okay. So let us find out whether value of given polynomial at x is equal to minus 3, whether it is 0 or not. So P at x is equal to minus 3. x cube minus 3 cube plus 6x square plus 11x plus 6. So what is minus 3 square? Minus 27 plus minus 3 square 9. 9 into 6 54 minus 33 plus 6. So how much you will get? Yes. So minus 27 minus 33 it will be minus 60 plus 54 plus 6 it is 60 which is equal to 0 this is nothing but what this is nothing but a remainder and just now we have seen if remainder is equal to 0 see here just now we have seen if remainder is equal to 0 then x plus 3 will be factor of p of x therefore x plus 3 is a factor of x cube 
plus 6x square plus 11x plus 6. This is our conclusion. Is it right? Okay. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.